the easiest way to do nozzle maintenance is to go out to the circuit and twist off the nozzle tips and collect them all at once and you can bring them back to either to a workbench. Some people just like to watch TV and do this next part. Um, you separate them out. Got to use pliers. Once it's loose like that, you can take the cap off. The cap is where the little orifice is. That's the magic sizing of the for the misting spray. Um, but you got the cap and then you got this plunger that's in there. Don't lose the plunger. It comes out very easily. If you're not careful, it'll go all over the room. Um, so anyway, you just put that off to the side. Take a paper clip or something and you put it through the inlet side and push the old spring ball and the old filter out. And you throw that away. And then you grab a new filter and a new spring ball and you insert them. The spring ball, well, while I'm at it, uh, the, the ball can deform. That's why you want to replace, you always want to replace the spring ball at the same time you do the filters because this uh, mating surface inside the nozzle, it can get worn. So you put the ball in first put in the filter with the flat side out here so it can meet up with the plunger. So the flat surface and the flat surface. You screw that back together and you've done nozzle maintenance. Every, every other year, every third year, kind of depends on your system. Uh, it's best to just go out and replace them all. Or, you know, if you're more casual, you can just wait until they stop producing a nice misting pattern. But you notice I tightened up the cap on the nozzle again uh, with the pliers before we take it outside and then you replace all the tips in their proper location and this is finger tight and you're good to go for another couple seasons.